When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more And the morning breaks eternal bright and fair I'm going to ask one question today. One question. And I'm going to read a one-page thing. But I want you to take this seriously and consider. Truly, do you believe? Truly, do you believe? Okay, so that is the question. Do you believe? Good morning, Rob here. It's Friday. Thank God it's Friday, eh? TGIF. All right. Before I get started on that, though, I want to say tomorrow is the Skype Fellowship. 12 noon Mountain Standard Time. And the topic was the first chapter of Colossians, verses 15 through 20, I think. 15 through 21 or something. But anyway, I'm going to read that on the outside of the Skype Fellowship tomorrow. And then we'll discuss it. We'll talk and we'll enjoy what the passage says. So before you come on Skype, I would suggest to read it. Really meditate on that passage of Scripture and what it says. So, yeah, so... You folks are welcome to join the Skype Fellowship. I already have a new Skype name, okay? So for my brethren over in Holland who joined me the last time and my sister in Florida that joined us, Deborah and Ronnie and Leo, I have added you to the group and I will call you. Hopefully you'll, uh, you'll see that it's a new Skype thing because I had to make a new Skype thing uh, profile on my computer because I redid my computer and uh, it was messing up so I had to make a new Skype. I got the other Skype on my phone but uh, it'll be the new one. So yeah, so tomorrow at 12 noon Mountain Standard Time, come join us and enjoy some fellowship online face to face. Not on a pseudo type of stage where it's uh, don't see ya. But I can chat with you and text you back and forth. No, not like that. Face to face. Face to face fellowship online. Okay, do you believe? And I'll show you in the camera what I'm going to read. It's a, it's a uh, one page deal. And uh, really consider these questions. Okay, do you believe God that of him and through him and to him are all things. And the scripture references for that is Romans 11, 36, 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 6, Colossians chapter 1, verse 16, Hebrews chapter 2, verse 10. Do you believe all or some? Okay, so that was the first one. All locked up in stubbornness. Do you believe that God hath concluded them all in unbelief that he might have mercy upon all? And that was a scripture reference for Romans chapter 11, 32. Are both alls true? God is operating all in accord with the counsel of his will. Do you believe that God worketh all things after the counsel of his own will? Uh, Ephesians 1, 11. That's the most popular uh, passage there for that. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 3. Are some things too hard for him? God wills all mankind to be saved. Do you believe that God will have all men to be saved and to come into an, the knowledge of the truth? 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 4. That he is the Savior of all men. 1 Timothy chapter 4, 10. Does it say these things forbid to teach? No, it does not, I don't think. So, yeah, do you believe that God wills all mankind to be saved? All men will be vivified. Do you believe that as in Adam all die or are dying, the believers who are alive when the Lord comes who meet him in the air will not die? Even so, in Christ shall all be made alive. 1 Corinthians 15, 22. Do you believe that all men will be vivified? at the consummation. Okay, Christ will draw all to himself. Do you believe what Christ said that if I be lifted up from the earth will draw all men unto me? John chapter 12 verse 32. Where does he make an exception? Who permits us to limit this to a tiny percentage? Okay, the reconciliation of all. Do you believe that God 
having made peace through the blood of Christ's cross by him to reconcile all things unto himself, whether on the earth or in the heavens. Colossians chapter 1 verse 20. What is outside these limits? Christ's headship over all. Do you believe that in the dispensation of the fullness of times, he, God, might gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are on earth, even in him? Ephesians chapter 1 verse 10. To the Savior every knee will bow. Do you believe that at the, t at the name of Jesus, ev at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and in earth and under the earth? Philippians 2.10 and Romans 14.11. Do things have knees? That's an interesting question. Do things have needs? knees? The name Jesus means Jehovah Savior. So, okay. Every knee will bow. That's interesting right there. Every tongue shall acclaim him Lord. Do you believe that every tongue should confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father? Philippians 2. 11. Do you realize the Greek word for confess is rendered thanks in Matthew 11:25 and Luke 10:21? Would a reluctant forced confession glorify God as Father? God will be all in all. This is the last one. Do you believe that all will be subjected to Christ that God may be all in all? 1 Corinthians 15:28. How much could God be in the damned? Does faith in these scriptures make anyone a universal reconciliationist or a universalist? Does faith in the advent of our Lord make any one of uh, one an advent adventist adventist? Does it not create a false impression to fasten such names on persons whose convictions differ radically for those taught in these sects. S-E-C-T-S. Were it not better to agree not to call each other names? Right. So if you're going to call somebody somebody and you're going to put a big stamp on their forehead and say they're a universalist or a reconciliationist or some kind of ist, then you're basically calling them a name. A name other than what God has actually give them, given them. Were it, were it not better to agree not to call each other names? Yes. It should not be done. Can this be done in love? 1 Corinthians 13. One who believes the fundamentalists of, fundamentals of God's inspired word might claim to write to be called a fundamentalist. But it is not better to discard all designations that might separate from fellow believers and disturb the unity of the spirit, which is kept by the bound by the bond of peace. Ephesians chapter four, verse three. Is God unable to be all in everyone? Okay, so that was the very last question there. So that's interesting. So all those things that I just listed, do you believe? This is my question, and it's a good thing to meditate upon, to understand and believe. And I gave the scripture references on purpose, so you can look it up for yourself. You can see, okay, do I really believe this? Well, let me look it up. Let me meditate upon it. Let me understand this, okay? So do I really believe this? Do I really believe that God is going to save all? That's the bottom line. Okay, with that, it's a small one-page thing. Happy Friday. I will see you tomorrow at the Skype Fellowship. And if I don't, I will see you on Monday. Have a great day in the Lord, folks. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more And the morning breaks eternal bright and fair